Row after row of beetroot, abandoned to rot. In another nearby field, carrots too. Not because these veg are inedible, but because supermarkets say they are the wrong shape or size or have slight pest damage, so are no good for their customers. This is obviously a little bit smaller. It's nothing wrong, it's just like a baby beetroot, but we can't use it and we have we to waste it. it. We can't sell it. The farmer says up to 20% of crops can be discarded. That's a lot of food that could go to charity, even in just one field. If we get some uh, of the labour costs covered, plus the haulage cost, so potentially we can be sending up to 80,000 bunches for a whole season to charity. 80,000 bunches? 80,000 bunches. The farm has been able to send some of this edible food to the warehouse of food charity City Harvest, thanks to a government grant. But that money has run out. New research from the charity RAP says there could be up to 360,000 tonnes of surplus food on farms that is good to eat. Ministers had put in place a £15 million pilot to help charities divert some of that food to families in need. Last year, the money helped drive up the amount redistributed by two and a half times to almost 7,000 tonnes or 20 million meals. But the grants are not being renewed. Yes. That loss has hit the country's largest food distribution charity hard. Because while demand is soaring, fair share has seen a 30% drop in supplies. That food is out there. The problem is, is that it is cheaper for farmers to currently waste their edible surplus food than to send it to charities like ours. We are seeing such an unprecedented level of demand still. It's the next stage of the journey that matters most, getting to families at food pantries like here in Bath, where Grandmother Kim has been moved to tears by the support. It's just because they're so nice here. If you could say something to ministers about the fact that they're not incentivising farmers to give food to places like Fair Share, what would you say? Well, I'd say, why not? It's a question, why not? Why aren't you doing it? There's people like me who never expected to be in these circumstances that um, need, need this. The government says hundreds of charities benefited from the money it ploughed into redistribution, making changes that will help divert wasted food for years to come. But some charities certainly disagree. Anushka Rastana, ITV News.